to 8 o'clock. Bobby Socks, Blim Souls, Fifths, Rock and Roll and Winkle Pickers. What do they have in common? They all come from the 50s. And one man who was born in the mid-50s liked the era so much, he decided to just stay there. Billy Gibbons won't come to us, so we have to turn the clock back 40 years to meet him. Mm. Hello there, Billy. Billy, hello there. It's you. It's Good morning, me. Man. How it's, are you? I'm very How well. Things? Now, where are you in Cheshire? Uh, in my front room at the moment, <laughs> but you're in the village, don't you? Yeah. It's Audlem, babe. Where? Audlem, A U D L E M. Audlem. Audlem. You've never heard of that, have you? I have not. But, but you've, heard of, you've heard of Southampton, though, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Sorry that's about that. below the belt at. I, I don't, I'm not Sorry sure you that. and me are going to get on, Billy. We're going to get on like ours on fire. <laughs> well, in fact, what a, what a coincidence. <laughs> there we go. Well, I hope you're all right in the studio. Nice and warm, are you? Yes, we nice have 50s decor all around us as well. But that's uh, for different really? reasons, yes. Now, that is a coincidence. Because not... look at this. What, what can I say? Fantastic. I mean, what, what, what are you going to ask me first? <laughs> yeah, do you spend all your time living in this time warp? I do, as a matter of fact. Yeah, I don't care. Hence the reason, uh, you know, Cosmopolitan Vogue, forget it, Practical Householder, 1956. And what a coincidence, because that was the year you were born as well, wasn't it? No, was it? no, no, I no, am no, a child no. of the 50s, but 59. Oh, really? 50, and, and right 59. in the last month. You, you're 59, you don't look it, you look really well. You look really well, I actually. felt it after that match last night. Uh, yeah, forget that. <laughs> <laughs> What's that got to do with the 50s? Yeah. <laughs> Right. Trivial Pursuit? No. Lunar Rockets? Yeah. Yeah. And do you want to go over here? No, just, what are you going to do? Will you I'm like just, it or not? I'm just, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Well, please, oh, please. Me. Me. I was just <laughs> casting my eye round and, um, I mean, so everything is genuinely 50s there. I mean, so I saw TV in the background. We see your, is that that Baker-like telephone there? All these things work. Over there. Yes, they do that, Eamon, yeah. This is worked off steam. It's that old. Um, but, uh, yeah, this, this is, uh, these, these all work, yeah, everything works, apart from me. Yeah. Well, I should be at work now, really, but, you know, what do you do for TV? You what do you, hold, work, you? what do you work at, Billy? Well, <laughs> what do you think? Well, <laughs> I don't say. Forget it, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a road sweeper you're... for the Crew and Borough Council. I'm a road sweeper. Are you, mate? Yeah, well, when I'm there. Well, you're wasted. It's, you should be in entertainment, you should be. Yeah, sh shouldn't, shouldn't I, yeah. Yeah. Right, you tell, you tell your producer that. Uh, this is, um... This is uh, another uh, radio of mine, uh, but that was made the day I was born. Really? Wow. Yeah, I mean, wow. Where do you get all this stuff? Out of the skip. <laughs> <laughs> One of the benefits of the job there. In, in fact, no, I, I do get a lot of it out of the skip, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, but I do, I do buy a lot of stuff as well. Yeah. Cool. Uh, tell, tell me this, Billy. I mean, do you do, I mean, if, if this is all legit 50 stuff, do you then do, without modern conveniences, things like videos, microwaves, central heating, that sort of thing? Walk this way. Okay, we're following you, we're with you. All right. I've got a cooker here, as you can see. It's a dead giveaway, you know, with it being a cooker. It's like one your but, granny used to have. It's brilliant. Yeah, it is. But um, I haven't actually plumbed this in because there's no point because I can't cook. So what's the point of having a cooker? Yeah. But I can, <laughs> I can eat beans up pretty good. In my microwave! Ah, a bit of cheating going on there. What, that's, a, what, a, that's what a compromise. No, that's but acceptable. It, is it? Thank you. Yeah. Right, thank you very much. What, do you know why people say, oh, things aren't made the way they used to be? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Things aren't like they used to be, Eamon, no. For the simple reason, I mean, years ago, you could, you could for instance, you could leave your doors open um, in the 50s. I mean, people would still come in and nick stuff out of your house. But, I mean, <laughs> it saves them breaking the door down, you know. Um, <laughs> What else have you got? This, this is my washing machine. Uh -huh. um, that again. Um, With a mangle. It's, it's got a mangle on top. It's got a Mrs. Mangle, yes. Yeah. Through that, through that, through that, through that. And then in there, in there, and in there. Now, I wash my clothes once a year, whether they need it or not. <laughs> um, uh, this is my fridge, a Calvinator fridge, as you can see. It was made in Crewe, uh, which is just up the road from here. Um, yeah, and it all works, and... Grandad! How did you get in there? Have you, have you seen him? I knew, I knew him well. I knew him well. Get in there. Shut up. But, but, um, but mu music, is, music is your first love. And I mean, you've got the, this whole house, which is this shrine to the 50s, and your musical taste. Yeah. A what? What did you say? A swine to the fifties? A shrine, a shrine. Oh, shrine. I thought you were on about them town with pigs, I'm sorry. <laughs> 
Right. Mind the step, Mr. Cameraman. Walk this way again. I mean, if you walk this way, you wouldn't need the talcum powder, would you? Look at that. Uh, what can I say? Look at that. What can we say? Now, Hot broad well, what or what? What are you going to say? Is it the monsters? I mean, you know. <laughs> all, all. I mean. Pardon me. It must be the beans. <laughs> Do you like that, Eamon? That's absolutely fantastic. Bill, is, is this. It? Oh, hey. Yes. Um, it's Fiona there, by the way. Fiona is. Fiona yes, there. She's still I here. I am. I thought I talked a lot, Billy, but I've got nothing on you. Um, no. Good morning. I didn't good say morning. good morning to you. Good, good morning. morning. Pleasure to be Thank in you your company. Much. Thank you. Yes, it's, yeah, yeah. I haven't got a company yet, but after this, I might have my own one, mightn't I? Well, Billy, right. I'm sure you've got a road to sweep somewhere. We'll not be holding you back and um, okay. some stuff to I've get out of the skip. What? Little, little surprise for you, Eamon. Have you? Most, pe most people in the garage have cars. Yeah. Me? No, I've got a four-piece rockabilly band. Really? We call the Invaders. Seems like a lovely man, but um, barking mad, I would say. Um, Billy Gibbons, what a, what a place, Fiona. I've never seen anything, I've never heard anything like it either. Really? Our new correspondent. Yeah. We're looking for one. I think they found one of the old ones in the fridge there. Look yeah. how good it was. A few minutes ago on the programme, uh, we featured street sweeper Billy Gibbons, whose mm -hmm. house is a shrine to the 1950s. We've had lots and lots of calls uh, congratulating them this morning. Uh, Mrs. Harris from Oxford said she was down in the dumps this morning. He cheered her up. Mrs. Murray's Gummer Wynn from West Sussex says he was excellent. I've had to have my little dog put to sleep last week and was feeling very bad. This man really made me laugh this morning. I had tears rolling down my face. We try to please. Here's the news you're waiting.